It's 9.30 in the morning and I've already been up doing emails for work. I've been to the gym, back again. Running two companies and planning a wedding. It's a lot, even for me. The planning of the wedding is not the problem. This is the inspiration for the tuxedo that I'm having made. I love the idea of a lace tuxedo. So I can plan events for huge corporate clients and Fortune 500 companies. Of course that I can do my own wedding, but when the emotions start coming into play, that's when it starts to get really complicated because of my family situation. My father passed away. My mother is not in my life any longer. Okay, enough with the crying. So let's talk about Jimmy Fallon. I need a structural assessment for an air conditioning unit with a compressor. Thank you. This will get cuter. So we have a half hour to just set up the carpet. You go with Alexa, set up press entrance. Caroline, you're doing selfie station. So we'll bring the celebrity to you if they want to take a selfie. Does that make sense? One, two, three. Good job. I started my company, Flying Television, when I left Late Night with Conan O'Brien, where I was the talent booker. And I came up with this idea of a talent booking agency. And in a nutshell, we pair corporate America with Hollywood. Hi, Julia. Lori Levine. Nice, nice, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. We're the ones that say, if this is the brand you want to promote, this is the celebrity that would be right on point with your brand. De Niro's coming. OK. Hi. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Come here. This is the picture. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay. That De Niro shot should go up now. You only like peanut butter sandwiches? You know, your dad is slightly obsessed with tuna fish. I hate I'm on my way to my house in the Hamptons with my fiance Jan and his kids. It is 2.45. We are at Two Mile Hollow Beach. The reason I'm in the car is because Jan always does this. He unloads the car, goes down to the beach, sets up the entire footprint. That's Jan. He is a real man. He is a father. He is the man of the house. From that point, I had never dated a man before. Look at that guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. Hi. Hi, guys. You ready to go to the beach? Put Suki in here or Baxter? Put Suki in that one. Stick your nosey out. I love you. Thank you, Daddy. So my stepdaughters, to be, are both mermaids from past life. Nice job! They don't care about me. <laughs> we are in the Hamptons. It's Jan's birthday. He's getting ready to open his gifts. And here's Jane. There's Stebbins, Jan's youngest son. Ooh! And look, there's the birthday boy. Happy birthday to you. It's Corn Room! Oh, this oh, is gosh. What do they say? It says JBA. No, LBJ. it's our new initials. Lori versus Jan. No. Oh, oh my God, Lori Van Arsdale, oh, Jan Van Arsdale. Oh, wait, are you still sticking with Levine though? No, I'm gonna go to Van Arsdale. But my mom still has Van Arsdale. That's okay. That's allowed. Good job. And now Jane knows that I'm taking your last name. We'll never see her again. And we'll call you the other. I'm the other? No, no, I meant like the, the, the other mother. I'm not the other. She's the other. Yes, I know. What are you, insane? The the hole? I'm the other? No, no, you're the only one. You're the only one. What I really want is for the kids to want me around. And it didn't necessarily go that way. I have to keep remembering that they weren't counting on me showing up. I wasn't counting on falling in love with a man with four children. And I wasn't counting on caring about the kids as much as I do. I just hope that in the coming months, things get, I don't even know, easier? I'm a hot commodity, and the reason I like it so much is because white women act like I'm a diet. That's what makes it funny. Like, they be like, black guy, 30, no kids? <gasps> How'd you do it? <laughs> you look so good. What's your secret? And I'd be like, uh, well, miss, <laughs> I pull out. I pull out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy, it's Chris. Why? 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 Yeah, hold on. Yeah, what's happening? So, MTV just called, man. 
You got it. You got a broke ass game show, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. So awesome. Uh, Chris, thank you. Lauren, Jens, thank you so much. Really deserve this, dude. All right, talk to you later, man. Hey, Mom, I got broke ass game show. <laughs> I got it. Mom, I'm screaming. But, Mom, okay. I love you too. Bye. Finally, God has answered my prayers and said, all right, son, you don't have to couch surf no more. It's work time now, it's work time. Hopefully this is a job to kick everything off or I go from Derek Gaines broke to Derek Gaines not broke. Cause I don't want to be broke anymore. I don't, just be the comedian I know I can be. Done with this damn couch surfing. Finally have one couch, my own bed. Hopefully this place ain't got rats. Hey. Congratulations! Thank you. you did it. Mom, let's go celebrate. It's really hard to manage that you're going to be moving and like yeah. this time you're going to be gone for good. I miss you. There's got to be some time where you got to leave the nest, right? And maybe even I can get a grandkid out of the deal. Oh, Jesus! The, why did you why? We was we was going good. We're and still going good. You don't need a woman right now because you're not willing to make sacrifices. Angie's great, but I don't know. Not now. I can't do that. This is our beautiful view. It's pretty spectacular actually. So what are you gonna do if you get fired? I was freaking out all morning and then I decided. If I get fired, it's only because something better is coming. Those are babies. <laughs> and forget about my dreams. Yeah, fuck the dreams. Can I just swap out your birth control pills for Advil? Babe, I will kill you and Advil is totally a different size and a different color. <laughs> Let's cook. Spinach salad it is. Oh, I know. Oh, this is mango. It's pretty much. It's like my ball. I get jealous. You do get jealous in real life over nothing. But I love it. This is my ride to work. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. The city is beautiful. Here we are. This is our little station. So I'm looking up my stories. I get on all the websites and I find all my gossip. Rob Kardashian, I know I'm fat, stupid. If you believe it, somebody gaining weight is actually a story. And people are talking about it. <laughs> hey, this is Brian. Oh my gosh, good morning. It's 5.30 and I'm so tired. Yeah. I'm just getting myself ready for whatever happens with my life. We're like super afraid this week because we don't know what's gonna happen. We got a new boss and we might all get fired. 8.22, it's Ty. Rosie's got all the dirt for you this morning. This is a biggest story. Iggy Azalea apologizes to her fans after messing up on Dancing with the Stars last night. Oh, I feel bad. Anything can happen on live TV, right? New York's new music channel. So you're over getting fired. You don't care. Is it confirmed yet? No, but it then feels like it's- stop harping today. Okay. You're dragging everyone down, Rosie. Rosie's got her I'm smiling but pissed off face. Because she's a little negative today. I'm not a little negative. Uh, yes, I am upset because we are not are gonna- negative? These are emotions that are coming out. Well, they can be negative emotions. I'm yeah. gonna That's get fired. Why That's would I be enthusiastic mean. today? It's literally like a funeral for my career. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna be fine. I'm pissed. Okay, guys. Okay. 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 It's showtime. Oh my god. Okay, I have to turn it off. So, who wants to go hiking? Let's go hiking through an orchard. I hate apple picking. Have because you done this before? It's an hour before? away in this other place in the world. It's not an hour city. away. It's 40 minutes. I don't really care. Why are you holding your belt? Are you planning on whipping your sister with it? No, I'm holding it up. You know what? No matter what we suggest, you guys are like, no, no, no. no. Welcome to and the Van Arsdale family. And then, You're let fine. me just, hold on, let me just say this. We're gonna have to like, suck it up and be a family. Wow, I'm gonna We're apple picking. 
Is this fun? It's great. Let's go find some pears. Hey guys. Let's go over to pears. Pears are this way, right? Did you guys want to look first some pears? No. Why are you carrying those in your hand, not in the bag? I'm gonna start pitching them, you know why. No, I'm gonna juggle. You want me to hold that bag so you can try juggling? I'm the expert. You do know how to juggle? Almost. He just snookered me into carrying his stupid bag of apples. Come on, let's go find the pears. Okay, he's throwing apples at me. No, 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 no. There's no throwing apples. It's rough if so many for each other. And they're mean to you, and it makes me crazy. They're, they're coming. That is so disrespectful. You're picking apples and you're just they rolling may them down the hill? I, That's wrong. Let's go, you and me I pick apples. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna fight with anybody. I, like it not I wanna be alone now. I wanna have a lovely day. I've never been here before. And you know what, I don't like to be yelled at, and I don't want apples being thrown at me either. See you later, bye. Hey, Jane, Jane, Lori's really upset right now, and now she's off by herself. That was the point of I'm us doing this. I'm upset too. Dad, why, why, Dad, why, why is it my fault when she's yelling at me the whole time? You know what? We need to all get along as a family, and... Why don't you go tell Lori that? Because she's making her look bad. You're the truth, right? I thought about it, you're the tits when it comes down to just being a dope chick. You really never gave me any red flags. We fight minimal. So I should settle down with somebody that's gonna be on, in my corner, but I'm like, nah, because I don't want to be held down. Okay. But at the same token, it's like, I don't want to be not near you. It's, it's just a weird thing. It's like a contradiction, nigga, what you want? And I don't know what I want. I just know that I like you, but I don't know, I don't want to think in the future because I like the present too much. But the thing is that you're so stuck in your way of thinking. You think that you have to either be in a relationship or have a career. It's like you can't have both. Do you think that you'll be less of a comedian if you have kids and get married? No, but I don't want kids and have marriage. Why? Because I don't. I just see me doing more comedy, getting better at this shit, and maybe... So you don't think you can get better with a wife or a child? I probably can, but I just don't want a wife or a child. It doesn't interest me. You choose not to put in the work for other things and make room for other things in your life. I feel like you dogging me because, because I don't want what you want. I want to make sure that whoever I do end up with, they do want the same things that I want, eventually. Mm -hmm. You just got to have your priorities in order. Some of my priorities are out of order. Absolutely. But I don't think you need me to tell you that. has been deactivated and you will not be able to enter the building like a freaking criminal. Whatever. That's the rules. That's the rules of the game. I feel like crying, but I'm not gonna because I already grown cried up. a little bit. Because I wanted to and I was like, Rosie, you're grown up. You can't yeah, be crying. But like, I have life. I know, I know. Come on, let's sit. We need a glass of wine. What are your thoughts? I thought it was gonna be worse than it was, honestly. Well, now I have a lot of time to run. Actually, you're right. I can go to the gym. I'm going to get super fit. To the endless opportunities that we have for us, in front of us. Okay, it's like kind of finally hitting me. I feel like crap. <laughs> I feel like a loser. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. It's okay. Maybe you're the most talented and the most beautiful woman I've ever met. I don't feel it right now, but thank you and I love you for it. There's nothing in this world you can't do. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. I love you, baby. Thank you for believing in me. I love you, baby. You're incredible. I love you too. <laughs> It's gonna be okay.
You guys want me to pull off the rest up here? No, no. This is all garbage. We're not eating this. We're on a guy on the highway. Where else are we gonna eat? Stop shouting! Oh my god! All of you, we're not eating. Oh my god! You know what? There's not gonna be another one for another 30 miles. Guys, you know what? Then we'll pull off. If you pull over at McDonald's. Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts, slip down, Dunkin' Donuts. Shut up. The fact that you are shouting at me means that we're definitely not pulling over. I don't like being shouted at. We're going home now. In a quarter mile. Keep right. We're gonna do this because we haven't done this in a while. But I still watch this whole weekend, starting with one of us have food in their mouth and. Stead. Stead, you know Stead, what? Stead, if you're gonna get up from the table, clear your plate. No, no, sit down. No, no, hold on. I want to go upstairs then and read my book. Is this the worst thing right here, sitting with us? Is that what it is? You know, can't sit with us? Worst thing is having to read my book and best thing is... Probably nothing. I just got back from a fucking Vietnam. None of them wanted to go to dinner. How could we do this? You're choosing Lori over us. They are the most disrespectful, fucked up, selfish kids I have ever met in my life. I just, I feel like I was a target and everyone was shooting daggers at me. I didn't know what to do. You know, it's not easy. I went from being this independent single girl who could do anything she wanted. And now I'm living with this man who I am madly in love with and he comes with these four kids and I don't know how to be a stepmom. I mean, I'm, I'm trying. Breakfast in bed for the cranky girlfriend. Oh my God, no, uh, I'm naked. Put a shirt on, woman. Oh my God. Oh God. Boobies are away? Yeah. Boobies are away. Here we go. I love you. You're so nice. I'm so miserable. I am. But I'm trying to be positive, but it's not working today. You ready for hair? As ready as I'll ever be. At what age did your hair loss begin? I don't know. What is your height? <laughs> Why do they want to know that? I don't know, but you always say I'm so fucking short. I said that one time and you're running with it. Have you ever had excessive bleeding during surgery? Are you scared? I'm scared that I get it done and it looks horrible. That's I what know. I'm scared of. If that happens, can't you just shave your head? I feel like if you go bald, you gotta be like tall and muscular or something. Not very true. Short and stubby. So I got this guy right here. <laughs> Thanks for <the> time. <laughs> I can't fix that. Look at all this freaking head. Baby, you got a regular head. Your face is perfection. Your nose is better than like any nose job that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I, I have not had a nose job. That's what I'm saying, and it's yours. Doc didn't want to cut me open. I was ready today. <laughs> Who wants to get cut open? He was really genuinely upset. I think it's kind of interesting that you have a doctor who, um, does hair transplants and yet he's as bald as you can be. He is super bald. Really? It doesn't seem like he gives a shit. It's because he's probably making that money. And he's probably like, I have more self-confidence than you because I don't need fake hair. Okay, you're Miss Perfect. You're <laughs> Never. I am so not perfect, it's not even funny. Oh my God. It's gonna take 40 minutes to go nine miles. I know, so let's go get some frozen yogurt. I'm so far from perfect. My ex-husband and I, we had a great relationship when we were boyfriend, girlfriend, but when we got married, not so much. I really like, do not like feeling like a failure and I feel like that was a failure, especially because my parents paid 50 grand for the wedding and then bought us a house next door for 163 grand that he put down. But at least my sister lives there now. She's living my dream next door to my parents' house where they connected the backyards and she's living there with her fiance. So yeah, life is pretty crazy. Let me see. Hey, Mommy honey. saw my whole vagina. Oh my God, the whole thing? The whole thing. Was it shaved? It was like nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Can I see your sonogram thingy? No, it's next week. What do you mean? You went for no reason to the doctor. Bobby, guess who got fired from the radio? Who? Everybody. Why? The station only for star. Okay, you're right. And you are good. You are very good. You never, never, never gonna fail. Yeah. Uh, Cleaning up my room to move. What are you saving that box with the headphones for? For my weekend. Throw that box away. Mom, it's a nice box. Throw the box away. You taking that lamp? No. What you gonna have for light in your room? You finally gonna have like a house house or you gonna continue to I live on couch... crates and mattresses on the floor? I'm so used to couch surfing, Mom. I gotta get I out know, of here. Yes, you have to get out of the mentality. It's about time to look like you live someplace and pick the mattress up off the floor. All right. Cheese and crackers. But you know I'm leaving to get better for the both of us, so I can take care of you and me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Don't cry. Jesus, mom. I'll be I'll be fine if you find somebody. Derek. Mom. I'm 53 years old. Mom, I'm 30 years old. What you saying? You I'm have had a couple of good girlfriends. Angie probably would have been good. And I understand you're career driven. Nothing wrong with that. But eventually everything in your career is going to be good yeah. you're going to have but enough see, money but i don't see that right now i see me setting them apart i see me getting on this road i see me being in this movie that movie this tv show just to get on stage more <sighs> don't do that please don't do that i'm not going to have grandbabies i'm going to have grand cars and grand apartments uh, and grand puppies and grand vacations and grand tvs and a grand better life as a whole. Do you understand that? A grandchild does not make you complete, Mom. It don't. Grand money don't make you complete either. Yeah, but it, it's better. <laughs> With God on my side, Mom, the only thing that I want and love to do is this comedy. I just want to make it so bad. I know. Let's go next door. Which is my sister's new dream house. <laughs> oh, stop it. I'm starving. Josh is annoying because every time I'm not like holding my phone or something and it's in my purse and I don't get the text messages right away, he'll go, hello, hello. That's annoying. I'm gonna read you all the text messages. I, uh, what are you doing? Question mark, question mark, hello. And I go, I was at Trader Joe's. What's wrong with you? I'm not a slave to my phone. And then he puts, whatever. Sorry to fucking bother you. Talk to you later. Hello, love. I don't even give a fuck you're talking to me like that. I really don't. What did I do? I just said stop being aggressive with your text, basically. Yeah, I just sent you a fucking question mark, and then I sent you hello. That's, that's me being crazy? What are you so angry about? You were a dick, were you not? Babe, I said I'm hungry. I'm sorry. I even apologized in the text. What are you really angry about? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. You, you, you don't do anything. You're perfect. I'm sorry. I have no say in our relationship for anything. What do you mean? You know, we watch whatever you want to watch. We have kids when you want. Like, everything is what you want, always. Okay, you're very all or nothing right now. I'm not all or nothing. It's the truth. But honestly, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about right now. I think I'm just frustrated because I want to have kids with you. And I'm scared that that might not happen. Why? If I'm telling you, like, everything that I've told you... From the beginning of our relationship, look, I'm not ready. When I'm ready, I'll show you. I'm not lying to you. There's no rush. Are you okay? Why are you upset? Tell me. Tell me the truth. I'm getting scared because I can't be the man that I think you want. I love you. I love you too. So it was a hard day, huh? Yeah. I guess it's just the wedding is brewing all these emotions inside me. Carolyn asked me, she's like, why do you care about me? You don't even know me. We, we barely know each other. And 
I, I couldn't understand how she didn't understand that I was so in love with you. And I don't need to know them for a longer time to know that I love them, I mean. And I think it's because it just, the wedding reminds me that I don't have any family who's standing up for me. I mean, we're gonna fight through this. You're the love of my life. I never thought until you walked into my life that I would ever, ever want to be married again. Nothing else in this world I wanted more than to be yours and to be married to you. Just this parenting thing is not easy. We'll fight through everything. I know we can. And you want to have a fifth. watching Connected, make sure you subscribe to AOL Originals for all new episodes and exclusive behind the scenes footage.